So before I begin this video lesson, I want to give props to Mr. Kuhlmann, who is based in Switzerland, as he is now up, as you can see here, $126,000 in 2013 alone in just the first three and a half months of the year. Fantastic. Bravo. Amazing. He left his job to trade, and now he is making... Well, what did he say? I think he said he was making like 80000 a year. You know, he left a decent paying job, but already he sees the profits. And it's not just like it's like one trade. It's like lots of little trades. You know, he nailed OSTK. And this is the reason why I'm including him, because he traded OSTK better than me. I only made 2200 I bought it at 15 12 He bought it today at 16 and sold it at 18.48. So... He was a dollar a share later, but he also held it, and I wasn't even awake because I'm on the West Coast working on my new TV show, upcoming TV show. You can probably hear I'm like a little stuffy. I can't do West Coast for too long um, just because of the time zone. I got up at freaking 7 in the morning, but the stock had already made its move. Um, here is OSTK today. Uh, you can see here, I guess he got a pre-market. Maybe he had some overnight. I don't know. Let's see what it did pre-market. Yeah, pre-market, he must have gotten it, or maybe he had some from yesterday. But I bought this and alerted it right here on the midday technical breakout. Normally, I want to wait. I did another video lesson where I said, you know, it's, it's, it's better to wait uh, till the end of the day. And in this case, it actually proved to be true when it broke out past the day high at 15.50 and went all the way to 16. Um, but it was there was a 20,000 share seller at 15.10, which got taken out. Somebody bought $300,000 worth. Um, so it was pretty, pretty staggering to break out midday. Then it was choppy. I was working on the TV show, so I missed this whole run up. I still made 2,200 from, from 1512 to the, uh, 1530s and forties into this mess. Um, but I missed the big breakout and then I missed this big morning spike. And this is the beauty of my strategy. You know, a lot of you guys are like, Oh, this isn't a penny stock. Well, guess what? Sometimes I do buy earnings winners and OSTK crushed earnings estimates. I'll link the video lesson that I did um, specifically on this, why I bought this and what I was looking for. Um, I didn't expect it to break 16. Uh, 16 is, is long-term resistance um, going back to longer than 100 days. Um, going back to you know 2011. Uh, but it went right above it, and it was fantastic. So I'm, I'm, I'm so proud that Coolman made more than me, a few hundred dollars more than me on a much smaller position. Uh, I made 2000 had I held, you know, I could have, would have, should have made 30000 So many of you guys are like, Sykes, you need to trade better. No, I don't. I'm working on a TV show. I'm working on educating the world. I was there for the buy alert. I have over a dozen video lessons on earnings breakouts. I was there. Same thing with OCTX. In the watch list, I said, you know, and in my DVDs and in my video lessons, this first down day, this indicator, there's a specific video lesson where I talk about this, where on these pump and dumps, the first crack is the sign of the beginning of the end. And while I didn't find shares to short, some people did. There are a few people out there, they shorted, you know, 3,000, 5,000 shares in like the eights. And now they're up $2 a share. You know, several thousand dollars. That is what's possible with my strategy. This is not, this is why like real traders, quote real traders, make fun of my strategy because I'm, I'm like, you know, getting all excited. Look, I made 2,000, I made 5,000, I made 10,000. Sometimes I do make 30,000. Um, as I have done a few times in the past, um, but you know these small gains are where it's at. Hold on one second, I'm getting a call. Let me pause. This. As I was saying, that that was actually the TV producer who was just calling. Um, working on this TV show, it's a pain in the butt. It, don't even get me started. I could write a whole book on it. But the point is, is that OSTK, I called the buy alert, nailed it. Uh, didn't trade it perfectly because again, I have other stuff to do. But my students. Trading Challenge student Kuhlman, Trading Challenge student Mark Crook. Mark Crook made, you know, 4%, like nearly a thousand bucks, and he held it. He also sold too soon. OCTX, some students are banking. This is the exact same pattern that's in a lot of my DVDs. Penny Stocking Part 2. This looks straight out of this in a DVD from five years ago. It's the same patterns over and over again. Also, I did a recent video on MCOX, up from 2 to 7 due to Seeking Alpha, back down to 5. There were shares to short. 
at Interactive Brokers and my special high net worth broker, um, you could have shorted in here. And, and one guy, I actually uh, saved it. Uh, where was it? Uh, Double Humper made 800 in Reefer. Scavenger made 300. Ivan sold OCTX. Uh, oh, I think he's talking about OSTK. He typed it in wrong. Uh, D Beckley, new new trading challenge student, just made 23%. Um, and this was cool man made. You know, I have to do a whole profile on him because now he's over $100,000 in profits this year. And now I have over a dozen students who were over 50000 in profits in the first three months. So, you know, I, I just want to do this video lesson just to remind you that it's not about being perfect. You know, MCOX, I actually did call the top rather nicely in the 760s. But I covered too soon at 7-ish. It went all the way down to 5-ish. Uh, OSTK, you know, I, I called the breakout perfectly. Didn't trade it well because, again, prior commitments. Um, so life gets in the way sometimes of trading. But I'm prepared and some of my best students who watch all these video lessons are, are prepared. You know, Mark Crook is closing in on $200,000 in profits. Um, it, it adds up over time. So you real, quote, real traders out there, you can make fun of me right now. That's fine. You know, I know the numbers are small, but guess what? I've made over $3 million, just $2,000 at a time. Uh, this is my average per trade, you know, profit. I, I make like, well, I think it's like 2,200 or 2,300. But over time, it makes you a millionaire. And these are gimmies. One guy, I, I love the story of the guy who emailed me. He's like, Tim, you trade such gimmies. Of course, these pump and dumps are going to crash. You know, why don't you be a real man and trade something harder like Forex? I'm not, in, this isn't like a diving competition. I'm not going for like, you know, trying to beat some little Chinese swimmers like with no splash. There's no difficulty rating in trades, okay? Cash is cash. I want to make the most money I can and I want it to be the easiest charts. So when you have a stock like MCOX that's up from two to seven and you have signs of it topping, that's a good short. This, you know, when it goes from five to seven in two days, you can see the, the run up it's a blow off top. There, there's buy-ins. Like it, people are getting way too excited. It can't sustain itself. OSTK, it can sustain itself. It can keep going because it's based on earnings and there's 3 million shares short. You know, and again, I go long and short. And I, a lot of people are confused. They, they, they have these, they make these assumptions and you might see me attack them online because they're like, you should only trade penny stocks. What are you doing trading a $15 stock? Hey, if the indicators are there, if the setup is there, I'm going to trade it. I'm going to buy it. You know, if there are shares to short of a pump, I'm going to short it. I don't care if I'm short like 500 shares or 5,000 or 50,000 because when the indicators are there, I can make a few hundred or a few thousand dollars. I mean, OCTX's drop from literally 10 down to 6 so far, and it'll probably keep dropping. Uh, almost the exact same thing as MNCS, which I went over in a trading challenge webinar the other day. It's almost exact because it's probably the same freaking promoters. So... I'm not interested in, you know, I, I would love if there were more shares to short and my strategy were more scalable. Um, but I'm not interested in, in trying to make a million dollars a trade to just try and impress, quote, the real traders. I'm interested in showing you highly predictable setups where you can make maybe a few hundred, maybe a few thousand, maybe tens of thousands. Or if your account gets big enough, hundreds of thousands per trade. But over and over and over again, I'm teaching you a process. Coolman's up over 100,000 in 2013. Awesome. He's on his way to making a million if he follows these strategies, good trade after good trade, when you start getting too greedy. Mark Crook was making $30,000 a month for two months in a row, and he got way too aggressive on one trade, lost 16000 It was a good lesson, brought him back down to earth. But now he's making a few thousand here and there. Sometimes you get too aggressive. Sometimes you're not too aggressive enough. It's very difficult to be perfect. But what I can teach you is how to spot these trades and how to be prepared. I was prepared for MCOX, I was prepared for OCTX, I was prepared for OSTK. That's all you can ask for. Those have been the three best plays from the past few days. Two shorts and one, one long. And that's usually the ratio of my trades. I buy roughly you know, 30, 33% of the time. So th these three trades are, are, are a good you know, example, or a small example, a small subset of what I do. Not trading perfectly, not necessarily always finding shares to short, as happens sometimes with these perfect pumps, but trying to do the best I can and being prepared. And you guys can all 
I don't care how much money you have, you can all be prepared. I don't care if you have a $100,000 account or a $50 account. You can still watch my video lessons. You can still watch the DVDs. You can still get this level two in charting and be prepared and understand why a stock like OSTK is going to keep rising and why a pump like OCTX is going to keep dropping. And there's thousands of stocks. I know this. But if you focus on these plays and you focus on these truly volatile stocks that have specific catalysts due to manipulation and earnings, you will live a healthier, wealthier life. And that is my goal for each and every one of you. So study the video lessons, study the DVDs, study my watch lists, study my trade alerts. Gradually over time you will get it. Mark Crook did not make $200,000 with my strategy all at once. Eric Wood, who I just interviewed in another video, he didn't make $600,000 with my strategy all at once. It adds up over time, but it's learning the process. And now after a year or two, they're both self-sufficient. They don't need me. They, they talk amongst themselves. They often trade better than me. I can still give them a few tips and, and reminders you know, when they get too aggressive or undisciplined or whatever. But within a year or two, I mean, pretty much anybody can be self-sufficient. I'm not in this to try and like take money for your education all your life. College is four years. High school is four years. My education, if you put in even a little bit of effort, you know, your education is pretty much complete within two years. And I'm not as expensive as 99.9999% of colleges. Um, I don't think there's any college that's as cheap as, as my tuition. Uh, and you know, you, you can start earning right away. College is, is so messed up where you have to study for years and you go into debt with the hope of getting like a middle class job. Um, hopefully you can make six figures eventually once you get like your, your degree in accounting or lawyer or dentistry or whatever you, you want to do. Um, with trading, I mean, you don't have to wait, even though your education is complete within two years usually, um, you know, you don't have to wait two years to start making money. You can start making money right away. And I encourage you to start trading right away. Once you, after you watch, you know, spend a weekend watching all of my video lessons or DVDs as, as much as you can in one weekend and start going in with like a hundred shares or try a paper trading account if you really are that scared. Uh, you know, some people, this, this chart is scary in, in 20 days for a stock to go from five to 10 back down to five. That's scary to a lot of people. They're like, oh my God, what if I get it wrong? What if I you know, bet against it at five and it goes to 10? Or what if I buy at 10 and it goes to five? Well, you know, number one lesson, again, is to cut losses quickly. So you never really have any you know, huge losses that will destroy your confidence. Mark Crook had a big loss of 16,000. Not huge given the fact that he was making 30,000 a month for two months, but pretty big enough to destroy his confidence and he didn't cut losses quickly. And he would agree with me on that. And I, I don't rip on him. I, I use it as an example. You know, he got too aggressive. And I do that sometimes too. You know, when I'm trading well, as I am right now, I'm, I'm up over 125000 in 2013 already. Um, and so I've been betting rather large. Um, but you, you, you cut losses quickly and things aren't that scary, especially when these patterns work time and time and time again. This video lesson that I'm filming in April 2013 is going to be relevant in April 2014, 2015, 2016, 2020. Because pumps, whether they go from you know 5 to 10 or Seeking Alpha or whatever new website comes up when it's from 2 to 7, due to hype and manipulation, it's not sustainable. And OSTK, you know, from, from well, the... I couldn't predict the breakout, the, the, the initial earnings breakout. I don't try and predict stocks ahead of earnings. But intraday, I mean yesterday, I, it couldn't have been more clear to me that it was breaking out right here. It, and you had two hours to get in. The breakout was nice, but it, it even came back down. I mean, I, I wish I hadn't been working on a TV show. But again, I'm thinking about education for years out from now. So I'm trying to make this, make my lessons go everywhere. Um, so I have to do the TV show and sometimes that's going to affect my trading, but it's not going to affect my alerting. I was there for the alert. And even if I wasn't there for the alert, my video lessons prepared you by earnings winners on intraday breakouts, especially when they have big short squeezes. Anyways, guys, congrats to those of you who made money. 
Congrats to those of you learning and the rest of you get inspired.